Welcome back to Coding Shorts. My name is Sean Wildermuth. I did want to remind you about some courses I'm going to be doing in April and May. The first one on ASP.NET Core, and the second one is going to be on View with a Vite. There's a link down in the show notes if you want to learn more about that online course. So I've been working with a client, and that client is using Swagger to document all their APIs. Pretty common, lots of people do it, but he's got a pretty big API that he wants to deal with. There's probably 100 or 200 different calls on the API for all sorts of things that he's going to need. He's got a bunch of apps that all call, and he wants the API to, instead of being a microservice, to be sort of a macro service, one big surface area for the API. And because of that, Swagger, he's not in love with. And so he tasked me to take a look at it and see if there's some way to organize it a little better. And so he and I came up with this idea about hierarchical categories for Swagger, and he put me to task. And I came up with a couple of things that I want to share with you. Let's get started. So we're back in... Uh, project. In fact, if you watch the last video on API discovery, you'll notice a lot of the same code. But in our case, we still have all these APIs directly here in the program.cs, which is fine. The thing we're trying to solve isn't that. And you notice the code here has API Explorer added as well as Swagger Gen. And then if development is going on, he's got Swagger and Swagger UI enabled so that we can actually use it in a way we want, right? In fact, this is what the Swagger page looks like. There's only four APIs, and we don't want to get them confused. We'd like to be able to use them. Now, imagine if there were 100 different tags here, right? This would become very hard to sort of manage and be able to look for what you're looking for. And so in doing this, I started to look to see if, whether there are ways within OpenAPI to specify sort of in a hierarchy. And tags sort of do it, there's been an idea on the GitHub repository to add something like a sub tag to allow this sort of hierarchical piece to work. But I ran into a very interesting project on GitHub. So I found this Swagger UI plugins, and there's a branch that this guy had created, and he had mentioned it on some other things, for actually allowing people to handle hierarchical tags by plugging into the Swagger UI. Both of these methods really rely on being able to modify that HTML file. So what I needed to do was add this script as well as add this plugin here into the code. And what this does, most importantly, is it allows you to use a colon or a pipe to separate these into subcategories. And so if I said read in this case, Probably not a great example of how you would tag these, but and I'll call this one right. Let's rebuild it. When we make that change, you'll see that it just treats them as two different categories. It doesn't care about it because we haven't added support for this. How do we do that? So let's open up a new console in this project. And so if we come in here and just say .NET add package, and I'm going to add Swagger hierarchy support. This is going to add the package that does the magic. Now, for our own information, so I did want to show you how this worked. And all that this package really does, I have an example there of how it works, is adds a single extension method to the Swagger UI to add the support. Let's actually make this a little bigger so you can see. And one of the things that Swagger UI allows you to do is inject JavaScript. And so we just added that unpackaged version of the tags, but then it got really hard because what we really needed to do was inject a static. And the way that the plugin works is that you can get the stream of the page before it's released, but it only allows you to add things that are going to be JSON serialized and adding global references like it's getting is really nasty. So this is certainly a hack. Essentially, I read the whole thing and I'm just changing the source here to add in my magic hierarchy tags plugin. This is the object that this NPM package actually supports. So I'm just throwing this into the existing object. And what does that get us? We come back here and in the Swagger UI, we can call opt 
and we can add add hierarchy support. And because of this, we'll need to bring in our namespace that we created here. And how does this change, right? Let's go ahead and rebuild it from scratch. When we come back here, we can see that films is now a top level. So these can all be collapsed. And then you still have each of the categories in here. Because we've said films colon read and films colon write, we get this hierarchy. In fact, if we come down here, Let's add another level. Go ahead and rebuild it. You can see we're actually getting even more levels. And so things can exist in each of those levels, and this is supported. And this is supported as a plugin to Swagger. There's nothing really in the .NET-ness of it than this magic for getting the Swagger UI to actually support it. Hope that makes sense. Thanks again for joining me on another hopefully interesting topic. Maybe you've seen some of the things that might be important here, or maybe you'll just start using the NuGet package. Either way, I'm happy. And I did want to put a note that on April 11th through 13th, I'm going to be doing an ASP.NET course. It's going to be online three days for half a day each, because that's about all people can handle. It includes some concepts, some demos, and labs that each of the students will do as well. We're capped at 16 people, and right now you can get an early bird price for it. The link is down in the show notes if you're interested. Thanks again for joining me on Coding Shorts. My name is Sean Wildermuth.